Hi YouTube. Well today we're in the kitchen of the road truck and the reason we're here is uh, just kind of to sh illustrate in a road truck I've got plumbing. So I've got a kitchen sink with hot and cold running water, I've got a stove, shower over here. Everything's plumbed in. There's a several gallon water heater that I heat up with propane and uh, that's all fine but there are a lot of people out there that are doing a, a van build of their own and they're not going to go to the trouble of <laughs> putting all this plumbing in and frankly for me uh, it's kind of overkill I thought I'd do a video about my thinking what I did just to make things easier for me uh, yeah, I have a holding tank full of water. I can turn the faucet on and get water. But if I want hot water, that's a whole other situation. I got to turn the propane on. Got to go back here and, or over here and start the heater, the water heater, and wait. Um, that's a lot of water to heat up for just doing dishes or taking a quick shower that kind of thing so I wanted a, a simple quick solution for heating water to take a quick shower wash my hair wash off outside if I was muddy or dirty and especially to be able to uh, do some dishes in warm water so uh, I did a lot of thinking I did a lot of brainstorming I had to think about what I wanted to do well I want on demand like I have here I turn the switch or I turn the faucet open the pump starts and water comes out so essentially I wanted to replicate that but without without all the plumbing I designed stuff um, I did it professionally for many years um, I've designed products and stuff this, of course, is just a prototype, a working concept to illustrate that it'll work in production. Something like this would, that I made would be w way more refined. And we'll get into that in a little bit later in the video. So, let me show you what I did first. How I thought about it and what I built and designed to do it. The first thing I had to do is figure out how much water do I need? It kind of had to be based on what I was going to heat the water on. Well, if I heat it on the stove, I can heat, you know, quite a bit of water, a gallon, maybe a little bit more than a gallon of water. If I want to do something like uh, heat the water on a jet boil stove or something like the alcohol stove, um, a gallon's getting kind of heavy on these things and uh, can they support it well I discovered that the jet boil stove suggests that you uh, keep the weight to seven pounds I determined that about three gallons three and a half gallons is seven pounds of water so that would be safe to put on here what kind of a vessel do I need? Can I use like a tin can? Well, I tried that. I tried a coffee can and immediately as soon as I boiled the water and finished up there are a few drops of water in the bottom of the coffee can and it immediately rusted. So that's out. That's not going to work. Uh, so I'm searching, looking all over the place and what I came up with was, was this. Now what is this? Well, we've we've all seen them uh, have ice in them, and they keep butter on it, or they heat soup, or you have barbecue beef in here that they spoon out and put on sandwiches. This is called a Ban Marie, or Bean Marie. Uh, little history. What does Bean Marie mean, or Ban Marie mean? Well, it means Mary's bath. Uh, this has been around for a long time. 
this type of cooking. It's, it's cooking something or keeping it warm in a steam bath or a water bath. Keeps the food warm, nice and piping hot, but it doesn't cook the food any longer. So meats especially stay nice and warm, tender, and they can be served hot, beans, uh, spaghetti, anything that needs to stay nice and hot, but that you don't want to put a flame under and keep cooking, you cook, you cook it in a steam bath or keep it warm in a steam bath. So I thought that was great. I didn't know that. A lady, I think about in the 16th century, named Mary the Jewess, is credited with creating this kind of uh, cooking or maintaining food at temperature. Mary's bath, hence the name. So, little history there. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. This is a real robust thing. Has a lot of uses in the van. I mean, you could use this for lots of different things. Um, but we're going to use it to uh, heat water in. So, on the stove, fine. Heats the water, perfect, excellent. It fits nicely on the jet boil stove. It's stable there, doesn't move around. That's good. How about the uh, alcohol stove? Well, let's see. There's the alcohol stove. Yep, sits on there, no problem. Not going to move around. And the, the uh, alcohol stove can heat it. So, I have three different ways of heating water. Now, once the water's hot, what am I going to do with it? I want to be able to rinse dishes off because warm water gets the dishes cleaner and just feels more sanitary and better to me using warm water to rinse dishes off. I can, I can wash dishes in cold or cool water or I can heat up water and pour it into a, a dish pan and have warm water to wash dishes in, but rinsing is tough. Uh, to get enough water to rinse a dish off like you do at home without plumbing, it's kind of tough. I came up with something. Now there's all kinds of submersible pumps out there. I looked at there's probably 50 of them. The problem is is the, the, they've got some trigger someplace or it's on the thing that, that goes in, in the tank. You turn it on and then the idea is the water is coming out out of a bucket five gallon bucket or something. Well, I don't have that much water. I need to be able to turn the water on, turn the water off, on, off, quickly, so that I can go through what I'm doing with it. Um, I don't want to turn it on and leave it on and have it spraying all over everything. That's not the goal. In a shower, for example, I want to be able to get wet, turn the water off, soap up, and then rinse off. That's the idea. Can I do that in three, three and a half gallons of water? Yep, I sure can. I looked and looked. I couldn't find what I was looking for. So I said, well, I, I'll make it then. It's not hard to make. And that's what I did. So this is my effort at making something that will, will uh, do what I want it to do. So we'll get up close here and take a look at it. Okay, so here we go. What do we got here? Well, we've got a submersible pump. This is the intake. Uh, and then over here, where the hose is attached, that's the pump pushes water out through the hose and up to the handle. The pump is actuated by virtue of the switch. So I have to have wiring all the way from the switch all the way down to the pump in order to turn the pump on, turn the pump off. You'll see in a second. Then I have to have some source of power. I wired in a plug that will connect to either a little power pack or to the Suaoki power pack that I just got. So there we have the Suaoki uh, power pack. The the power cord will plug into that. 
So by connecting the uh, Suauki 5.5 millimeter barrel plug adapter, I can plug the pump into the into the handle here, and then I can take the pump and drop the pump into the pot. So by turning the Suauki on and selecting DC power lights up there, I can press this washer handle button down and hopefully you can hear the pump running. No water is going to come out because I don't have any water in the in the uh, Ban Marie. But there you go. You you can hear it's it's running. So that's this is nice, but it's it's kind of busy here on the counter. Um, you know, I got this big thing here and uh, hose and cord and stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to kind of consolidate things a little bit. So we're gonna turn this off. Put this to one side. I ordered the the case from Alibaba and then I installed my own 18650 batteries in here and uh, this is a this is an adjustable uh, power supply so it'll 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 adjust from uh, you know USB all the way up to 12 volts it has a 5.5 connector on it too I can just spray some water out and rinse the dish I have a nice area over there where I can put a dish rack and drain the dishes and dry them. So for me, that works pretty good. And when I'm all done, I can just uh, pack things down. And everything pretty much fits right back in the container I use. And I can store the container away someplace. So I was pretty proud of myself. I set out to make something that had very specific specifications. I built it. I fabricated a handle myself. Um, put everything together and it works. So that's real pleasing when you do something like that. And it's something that anybody in any kind of a vehicle, whether you have uh, plumbing or not, it's something you can use. And you can have hot water or cold water and be able to take a shower, wash your hair, uh, rinse off dishes in nice warm hot water. And that was the goal. And there it is. So success. If I didn't go any further, That'd be great. I'd have my thing. Um, I'd put up drawings and show you how to build what I built and where to get the parts and so forth. Um, but I've got something better. So thanks to my son who said, suggested, why don't you see if you can find a five volt USB submersible pump? Um, you know, that'd be, then you could run it on anything. So I said, well, okay, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I don't know about the lifting capability of that kind of a pump, but we'll check and see. So as I'm looking around for portable showers, 5 volt, USB rechargeable, etc., you know, how you do a search, um, this popped up. Electropick portable shower. They've got a sticker over this. I wonder if they misspelled portable. <laughs> Maybe I'll look underneath and see. Anyway, let's take a look. So I keep it in this little um, blue bag. There's not a lot in here. Okay, so this is the whole thing uh, right here. A hose, a pump, and something that looks kind of familiar, a handle with a... Uh, with a button on it and the wiring uh, they've done a real nice job of putting the wiring and the and the feed tube for the water all in this nice sheath here so everything's all tucked away 
power supply is in here. The button is here. The demand is here. You know, the water comes out there for a shower. Or there's a smaller little um, thing like what I have on, on the shower handle I made that's just a little one like we see around sinks and stuff. So this one's good for using around the sink rinse and dishes and that kind of thing. Now, you can run this in water up to 124 degrees. So that's plenty hot enough to rinse dishes off with. And right here, right down here is where you charge it. But anyway, it's just a, a normal USB cable. So you just plug it in there and plug it into whatever USB power source you have to recharge things. So pretty cool, huh? The same concept, same design. This is what I would do if I was refining something and, you know, putting it out for production. I would have it all self-contained and uh, this is great. I don't have to do it. The best part, ha! These, these are regularly $35.99. Right now, they're $18, and you get a 5% coupon on top of that. So, under $20, uh, source to rinse dishes off. You've got a hot water source to wash your hair. You've got a hot water source to take a quick shower inside or outside. In my case, I can take it inside because my floor is a shower pan. So, it's not hard for me to take a shower inside. Uh, isn't that great? Uh, most of these are in that uh, $30 to $35 range. Uh, so this for under $20 with, you know, a battery power supply, that's, that's fantastic. I love it. Uh, the downside, yeah, the lift height isn't there. Put this on the floor and put it up on your head. The water is just trickling out very slowly. Not bad, but for me, the way I use it for a shower is like this. So for a shower, uh, I just set it up like this. I can reach this, hose off, have the shower curtain around me, just reach out and get this and hit the button. And there you hear the pump and get the uh, get the water I need to to get wet and then turn it off to soap up and then turn it back on to rinse off. Now for dishes, this is what I do there. That way I have a, a place to hang it, rinse the dishes off, hang it back up, and then you know, put the dishes over here to drain. So isn't that thing great? I'll do a Another video, just a review of this, because this is kind of a thought process video, not really a review video. So I'll do another video on this, the Electric Pick uh, portable shower. So if you want to take a look at the review, uh, go take a look at it. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it would help somebody else, share it with them. If you'd like to get more content like this, subscribe and hit the bell, and you'll be notified when new content gets posted. As always, comment as you see fit. Thanks for watching. See you later.